Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans and welcome to my office. I am super excited to be sharing this with you today. I am going to be giving you a little tour of my newly reorganized office and craft studio space. I am just so excited with how this all came together and I cannot wait to share this with you. So if there's anything you'd like to see in closer detail, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I can do a follow-up video. I will definitely be filming a flip through of my sticker storage system, which I'm super happy with right now. But other than that, let me know if there's anything else you want to see in closer detail. So I am just walking into my office now off of the hallway. My office is on the second floor of our house and if you are newer to my channel, you might not know that we did construction when we moved in, including completely finishing the second floor. So our house is a Cape Cod and when we moved in, the second floor was completely unfinished attic space with one loft room. And we built a master suite up here. I have a lot of pictures of that saved on my Instagram highlights under house remodel if you want to check that out but included in that we did create this office for myself so we do have a very difficult ceiling line because of the Cape Cod and we really just worked around the existing setup of the office in the middle of the room there's just kind of this divider wall our fireplace chimney from downstairs actually runs through that and we just covered it up with drywall and just worked around the existing shape of the room so it is a little bit difficult of a ceiling line but I actually super love it now it's got some like hidden nooks and crannies where I could tuck things away. The room is really divided into two sections and I just really like that. It's worked out super functional for me. It's a huge office space and I'm really grateful to have that. So now I'm going to get a little bit closer to all of the things to show you what is in each of them. So again, I'm back over by the door and this is the first area. When you first walk in, I have these two cabinets. All of the furniture except one of the desks in the room are from Ikea and I have a bookshelf. The vent is on the wall there and you may notice these two little uh, black notches on the wall. That's actually Velcro because I have a board that's I have pinned up to the wall with Velcro that I can actually move over to this section if I'm filming. Usually when I do face front filming of the ca with my camera, I film over here by my washi wall. So I like to cover up the vent with a decorative board when I do that. So that's why that's there. I just have a little bit of decorative shelves over here. I keep these cabinets uh, on top pretty sparse because I do put things on them throughout the day while I'm working in here. Again, I do all of my crafting and filming in here for my YouTube channel, but I also do my regular job and work in here so I spend a lot of time in my office you know I might put a snack over there or a drink etc so opening up this first cabinet here the first one has all of my pens charms and sticky notes so the top row has a bunch of different pens divided in cups extras and infrequently used pens down here my Tombow collection and all of my sticky note tabs and then on the bottom shelf here I've got all of my planner clips and charms and all of my sticky notes there on the bottom shelf all just divided out kind of by category what their material is whether they're vellum or regular whether they're die cut or square and just kind of sorted that way then the second cabinet is my sticker storage cabinet. So I recently redid all of my sticker storage and I will definitely be showing this entire cabinet and all my sticker books in more detail in a upcoming video. But the top row has my foil and kits. So all of my foil sorted out by silver, gold, and rose gold is in these notebooks, in these photo albums over here. And then I have a bin where I put my kit leftovers. I do give these away usually on my kit lineup videos. So I just keep them there until they're ready to be given away. And then over here in this stack that's vertical, I have all of my character stickers and uh, doodle icons from various shots, and then two binders full of all of my sticker kits. Then on the bottom row, I have more of my like color uh, color functionals and things that I typically use in my functional planner rather than my decorative memory planner. So over here, I have a bunch of Simply Gilded stickers, seal stickers, which are my favorite Simply Gilded stickers, but I also have seals from other shops in there. Those are like the larger stickers that you can turn into die cuts. I frequently use those in planner setups. And then my color foil functional, so everything that has a colorway with silver, gold, or rose gold. And then 
these albums over here have additional color functional stickers or things that didn't quite fit into the sticker collections on the top row there. And I typically use this row for more of my functional planning or monthly spreads and things like that, whereas the top row is much more devoted towards my memory planner. And then I do have just a little divider over here, this teal paper sorter over here, and that has some sticker albums. Most of my albums are from uh, Michael's from the Recollections collection, and I have a lot of the Once More With Love ones and some of the other sticker albums, and again, I typically use those in my functional planner, and then I have a reusable sticker album and just some other odds and ends tucked into that cabinet. So this is my sticker cabinet. Again, here is just a look at the top of those cabinets, and then coming over here, I do have two print impression desk mats, which I actually super love, and I just store them right there because they kind of cover up the plugs, and I think it looks really Really nice. So I have a gray and a pink and those are from Print Pression. And then over here we have a bookshelf. On the top of the bookshelf I do have a Simply Gilded desk calendar that is for the current year 2022. Just some trays. Uh, a lot of these are from, this one is from Target, this one is from Simply Gilded, and this one I got at a planner event. And then I have some of my decorative pens. So my gold decorative pens are over here in these two cups. So I have some pen gems and then some other Simply Gilded and other ones as well. My rose gold pens are actually back over there. I do use those for a lot of pictures. Occasionally I write with them, but I also just think they look really nice displayed out in the office. My silver ones are somewhere else. Then coming down here, I have six things of Michael's washi organizing drawers uh, set up and I have them filled out with all of my washi. Most of my washi is from Simply Gilded, but I do have some Scribble Prints Go and other shops in there as well. On top of that, I do just have one Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook and I just like that there display. That was actually the last Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook that I ever set up, that I ever used. I'm not currently in that system anymore, but I do think it looks really pretty just perched on the top there. So I still have that one. Uh, and then my washi collection I have organized by color, style, and foil color first and foremost. So I have all of my gold and my rose gold and then my silver, which is my largest collection. And then over here I do have some overlay tapes for memory spreads, some uh, unfoiled wash washi, a lot of that has like the shimmer effect or just different things, and then just some other assorted odds and ends, some functional washi cards, and then some washi from non-Simply Gilded shops. So just opening one of these drawers to show you. If you wanna see my washi collection, in more detail, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to film something a little bit more closely of these shelves. Then also coming down from here, just purely decorative, and I just love the way that this looks. I do have all of the Simply Gilded uh, subscription boxes that I've got lined up here. So I was subscribed pretty close to the beginning. Volume 5 is all the way over here, and that was my first one. So I just have these all lined up and on display. A couple of these actually have some extra office supplies in them, but most of them are just empty and just purely decorative. Uh, and I did actually, when we moved here, twice when I've moved, I've packed all of these full of my planner supplies and used that to sort things as I moved. So that's a really good tip if you have a move coming up and you have these boxes and want to help sort your stuff. I found that very useful and it made it very easy to unpack. Directly across from that those cabinets and that bookshelf, I have my main desk and filming area. So this is the sort of decorative board that I was talking about. This is just up on my wall with Velcro and can be moved to the other wall for filming purposes. But when I'm not filming, it usually sits right here so that I can look at it from my desk. And then I do have a planning cart, which I will go through in more detail in just a second, but I do wanna show you my main desk and filming area. It's still set up. I have two studio lights and a tripod for filming. My computer is on my desk and my functional planner is open on my desk. That is how I leave things during when, when I'm not using it. This is what I like to walk back into. So if my office is clean, this is what my desk looks like. My planner open, my computer closed and on it and nothing else on it. So that is what I consider a clean desk. So I'm just gonna slide my chair out of the way. 
And then under my desk here, I do obviously have some wires, but I also have one bin that I use to store additional computer equipment. I actually have a second computer for that I use for work sometimes, and it's just my microphone and some other things that I use for filming, and I like to store that under my desk. Then off to the left here, a very tight squeeze. I do have, actually have a closet, and uh, this is a storage inside. So opening up the closet here, I actually put these shelves in myself. They're from a closet made kit that I got from accident, uh, like on accident from Amazon. I had ordered something else and they sent this instead. So I just decided to keep it. It was worth a lot more money than when I had actually ordered. Uh, it didn't quite fit the closet, but I was able to build it in like a custom fashion to fit at least some of it in. And then I have a lot of old planner things up there, like old inserts, old planners stored in here, a lot of gift wrapping stuff, my lamp all of my nail stuff because I do typically also paint my nails in here and just some other assorted odds and ends away in the closet there. Uh, I really like how the closet came out. It's very functional. This is a very small closet and it also has like a very weird ceiling line because of our ceiling but these shelves really do make it very functional. Over on my planner cart I do have a set of mini drawers where I keep some extra planner supplies, my whiteout, erasers, some washi that I'm currently using, extra camera batteries, clips, glue, things of that nature. And then I have a paper divider over here. And these have kind of my planner helpers. So I have a weekly planning pad from Simply Gilded and a daily planning pad from Moxie Life. If you saw my planner lineup video, those will look familiar as they were in my planner lineup video as my planner helpers. I also have a notebook that I use for taking notes for work and just another notepad that I use to jot things down if I need. And some things that I actually pulled out of my functional planner because they were getting in the way of my writing so I just have that stored over there clipped up on the top of my cart I actually have my most frequently used pens and supplies so I have a ruler a uh, exacto blade all of my current favorite pens and my tweezers and then in the back tucked away I have some other frequently but less frequently used supplies so some more rulers my undo scissors a splice tool and some other black pens that I sometimes pull in and then my second drawer here my second row here is my marker bins so I have two two vertical bins there and then one horizontal one so all of my dot markers and uh other things that I'm like are pretty frequently used it's mostly dot markers are in there and then clipped on the front I have this pen cup and this is my color palette for the current week so I put my Tombos, any mild liners, any dot markers that I'm using in my current functional planners planning spread, I just keep in here, whereas my my black pens for writing go up in this top one. And then behind that, I do have two separate bins. The first bin in the front there has the Moxie Life color-coded colors that I will be using throughout the year when I work in my Moxie Life. So that has one mild liner and one dot pen for each of the eight areas of goal setting areas in Moxie Life. And then behind that are the rest of my mild liners that aren't currently in use. So Mild liners and dot pens are markers that I use every single day in my functional planning and every week in my moxie life and functional planning. So those get a marquee spot here rather than being in my pen cabinet on the other side. I also have a tabletop light and film holder that I use for filming things on my phone and taking pictures and things like that. And it folds up into that neat little box. So I absolutely love that. That was a recent purchase on Amazon. Then in the bottom row, I have my two other main planners besides my main functional planner. So on the top there are my Moxie Life quarterly companion notebooks. And those are tucked into an A5 TN. And then underneath that is my memory planner. So those go and sit right there in the the bottom of my cart when they are not in use and then I have an empty bin that is pink right there and I actually put stickers and other items that are waiting to be hauled uh, in that bin until I am ready to film a haul so anything that needs to go I just stick the mailers right in there usually and then behind that I have some extra phone wires and headphones and things like that so that is my planning cart 
So on the front of my fireplace wall over here, I do have another decorative board. This one is set up in silver foil, still for winter. I think this looks really, really cute. And then I have some wall shelves over here because I have a silver motif on this one. I do have my decorative silver pens just put up on that planner thing right there. And then on this shelf over here, I have some stuff for my kids. I just turned the pictures of my kids around because we actually don't show pictures of our children on social media at all. So that is what that little black box is over there. It's actually another calendar that has pictures of the kids on it. So then I just have that little washi tower that came in a Simply Gilded thing. This I do change out seasonally, but I thought this stuff looked really nice with my sort of winter setup. Then underneath that, I actually have a TV stand from Amazon. It's got two little vases on it. They're just empty. And then my paper divider is in here. These drawers were completely full and overflowing before I did my reorg. Now they're actually both empty, so I don't currently have anything in them, but I could add more stuff into them if I need to later. So I really just like this, but this is very, very empty right now. I just kind of have that as a decorative space. And then set up next to that, I do have a stand and my silhouette cameo is perched on top of that. Uh, I do put that on the floor when I'm printing with it, but I just like to have it a little bit out of the way. And then underneath that in that clear plastic bin is some silhouette cameo stuff. It's the pens that it came with as well as all of my cutting mats. So I just have that over there. So then right across from that, I have this last uh, this last Ikea piece, which is a Kalax, and it is uh, a six cube one and then I have some inserts for some of the cubes so the middle two insert the middle two cubes I have the two dividers the ones on the left and right I have the paper dividers and then I have doors on two of the bottom ones and I absolutely love this I just think this came together so nicely it's so adorable I just really like how decorative it is a lot of this space is just set up decoratively but I do have some functional elements in here so starting on the top here, I do have a rose gold paper divider. Right now it's empty, but I do put things there throughout the week. I have a notepad and just like a little card in there right now, but I'll put papers that I'm working with or things that I need or things that are waiting to be filed uh, just for life in there as I'm working that through them. And then I just have some decorative elements, including some flowers from Michael's. And then over here I have lots of notebooks and other things that I'm working with. These divide, these little bookends are from Amazon, these little magazine holders. So these are my frequently used notebooks. This is my art journal. I have some printed things in these two folders that are like currently in use or that I frequently use. My Rodia dot grid ta pa paper tablet, which is my favorite thing for testing pens and just for like doing some sketching. And then a larger scribble print, uh, scribbles that matter art journal over here as well. Then I just have some other notebooks, some old inserts, different notebooks that I can grab if I need. Some of these are partially used or used and most of them are blank though. And then this is my my folder for current planner setups. So all of the decorative elements for setups that I have currently in use or working. So this blue folder actually has my functional planner setup and this pink one is for a new cloud setup that I'm work on, working on for my memory planner. Coming down from there in my left, my left most divider. I have uh, all these decorative papers. So the top thing is blank here. I like to have a space to stick things as I'm working on them. And then I have all of my 12 by 12 decorative papers just put in here, just categorized by what kind of booklet they're in or whether they're loose or anything like that. And then underneath here, I have the rest of my sort of planner setup stuff. So this has papers from different shops or papers that I've printed myself. There's a bunch of vellums in here. It's just separated by category. Again, if you wanna see more of what's in my collection, let me know in the comments down below. And then here is just some more papers and like decorative stuff. I print a lot of papers myself. I also buy a lot of papers. I do paper crafting beyond planning and beyond planner setup so I do have a pretty large paper collection and then this is actually just completely full of journaling cards and this one is full of die cuts so I really really love paper craft and I have a lot of stuff and I am super happy with how this storage came together so moving over from there in this open one I've just got some miscellaneous planner related odds and ends in here things that didn't quite fit into any other category and some things that are like coil clip in uh, since I am currently using a coil planner for my functional planner 
Then this has washi cards, both ones that I've made and set up, and also just empty washi cards to use in planner setups. And then the other three binders, so one here and two in there, have all of my old planner setups in them. So I was in a personal, or almost all of my old planner setups in them. The larger planner setups obviously don't fit in those little binders, and I have those in folders, but... I was in personal wide rings or in a B6TN before that for a really long time. So I have a lot of decorative elements in that size and I have them all clipped together by what setup they are and they are in those binders. So I absolutely love that. I do frequently reuse elements that I've already made for things in other setups, even in larger setups. So it was really important for me to find a really great way to store those and I'm really happy with how that came together. Then these next set of shelves are just kind of decorative. They have leather and faux leather goods from a lot from Simply Gilded, from Print Pression, uh, from Foxy Fix, from R. Estelle, just kind of all decorated out together, grouped by category, just trying to make a little nice look for them, but also keeping some ones that I do frequently use, like the pen pouches, um, out. And then again, that pink cloud on top there is going to be my 2022 memory planner. I've already been planning memories for 2022 or doing memory spreads, but I haven't got the planner set up yet. So for right now, it's just sitting there. And my 2021 memory planner is actually, the pages are in there sitting under that. Continuing that more decorative pattern, again, just I have a lot of leather goods, a lot of old planners, and I wasn't ready to get rid of this stuff yet. I do use a lot of the pouches and folders and that kind of stuff. I don't really, I'm not really using anything in the B6 or personal wide size anymore, but I just really like the way this looks. I think it's very decorative and I'm just enjoying looking at it for right now. So that is what is over here. And then in this little last cabinet over here, the one with the bow on it, I have file storage. So I have one of these file holders it's clear plastic I think this looks so so nice and it's got like hanging folders off of it so we use a filing cabinet in our basement that has the same kind of storage and I frequently have to bring papers up from the basement to the office and vice versa things usually pass through my office before they go to the basement so that to be sorted so I thought it would be really helpful to have the same kind of file storage up here even though like the bulk of that stuff goes stored in the basement when it's not in use but like for example I'm working on tax stuff right now so I brought up my tax documents from the basement and just hung them right in here and then I also just have some extra empty binders tucked in the side there so I really really like that that's been very functional so far so we also have a second desk in here. Um, my husband does very occasionally work from home, uh, not often, but when he does, he does not like to be at my desk with the lights and tucked so far away from the window. So we bought this second desk just from Wayfair. All of the other furniture is from Ikea, but we just bought this second desk so he would have a little space if he ever wanted to work from here. And it's much closer to the window. Then over here on this last bookshelf from Ikea, I have some paper sorters and then this has stationary items like for sending cards or sending mail. Uh, all my envelopes and things like that are tucked into this basket. This little roller cart thing here, not roller cart, but this little roller sorter bin here has all of my vinyl vinyls for my silhouette machine and also foil for foiling things. I just use a laminator to foil. I don't have a mink. Uh, and then this has my bead storage over here. This is just from Michael's and all of my beads are sorted and stored in there. And then underneath that, all of the rest of my jewelry making or charm making equipment is down here. So I have all of my jewelry tools, wire, jump bands, all that kind of stuff and some elastics and ribbons as well in there. And then over here, this is sort of like my TN and ring zone. So I have a lot of like old paper dividers, adhesive pockets, uh, like elastics, extra elastics, this kind of elastics for doing for tying strings, this kind of elastics, elastics which you can make pen loops out of and also hair hair products out of um, and just a bunch of different things. Some extra rings over here, some like clear plastic covers for that kind of stuff. So some of the stuff I still use like the adhesive pockets and like the elastics but a lot of this stuff is not currently in use which is why it's kind of tucked over to the side here. And then on the bottom shelf I sort of have some miscellaneous class craft supplies and adhesive, so some Mod Podge, some paintbrushes, a lot of glitter, and some magnets and other types of glue, a hot glue, a hot glue gun, and some E6000 glue, just all different kinds of adhesives and stuff like that. And then this one has some extra office type supplies, so like clips, whiteout, tape, tape runner, my stapler, my hole punch, uh, my 
quarter rounder, and basically anything else that's like more office supplies is just tucked away in this basket over here. And then tucked away in this little quarter here where it's not even tall enough for you to stand up, I do have two printers. I have a laser printer and an inkjet printer. I do a lot of printing, as you might imagine, and then all of my papers underneath that. So in this cabinet on the first one, I have all of my various printer papers. They are sorted by like paper brand and weight. So basically basic printer paper is on the top, working our way down to 40 pound paper, which is what I use for printing inserts because it doesn't, you can pretty much use any marker and it's not going to bleed down. Then I have just some construction paper for kids craft and a bunch of a bunch of laminating pouches of diff different thickness down there. I do laminate a lot of things, some extra folders and specialty papers, including vellums and acetates, which you can print on. I print a lot of vellums myself, so I really like to have that handy in case I am working on a setup. So just taking a last little spin as we walk back towards my desk and through the door, and that is my office. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see it. Okay, so that is everything for my office tour. I hope you enjoyed getting to see it. Again, I just had so much fun reorganizing and making over this space. I'm really, I just spent so much time in here. I'm really looking forward to being in here even more than I already was. Hopefully you enjoyed getting to see my little craft studio and office space. And if you did, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and check me out on Instagram at MyCraftyPlans for more planner fun. Bye.